Hello and welcome to another episode of Man's Quest. Guys, in today's episode I'm going to start with a question, then we're going to go and do some stuff on the coffee machine. In, in between I'm going to have to adjust my chair because that bloody thing is keeping on dropping on me when I speak and have all sorts of challenges that you can't wait for me to go through. Let's get started. Okay guys, I don't even know if I need to start welcoming you again and start the whole video once again, but welcome to another episode of Man's Quest. In today's episode, I'm going to try and move my hands as little as possible because if I move it too much in a certain position like this or like whatever, uh, the gimbal decides that you don't want me to take videos anymore. I don't know who designed this bloody thing, so it's start and stop and you need to make sure that the white balance is right and everything so if it's start, stop and stop I get the whole thing from scratch. So I have question number one for you guys. What happens when you want to start the video at 3 p.m. when the sun is shining in London, which is not really a normal thing. <laughs> Recently it has been better. Um, and um, you start setting up the lights and more lights and a microphone and another microphone and another light. Um, I'll tell you what happens. It's three hours later and you're still trying to get it right. <laughs> That's what happens. Question number two. What happens when you sit on a chair that doesn't want to uh, remain at the same height? So as you'll see me uh, throughout the video, I'm going to get lower and lower with my seat because uh, the bloody uh, thing doesn't work. So wonderful days, right? But you guys are worth it. Um, I want to start by, so I started the, uh, the coffee machine before. Um, it has been about uh, 15 minutes since. Uh, the water is 93 degrees for the last 10 minutes. So I can tell you that within 10 minutes, the water gets quite uh, hot and it's already 103 on the steam centigrade, not uh, uh, Fahrenheit. Sorry guys, <laughs> couldn't be bothered with the other thing. Check it yourself, don't count on me. Uh, 100 and, uh, so uh, the, the steam needs to be 128, 129 uh, Celsius. Right now it's 105, so it's not too bad. Again, 15 minutes and it's done. So about 20 minutes, the group head is gonna be ready with the PID. Don't ever touch it, guys. You're gonna burn your lives away. Um, but that's that. Um, the, um, the grinder is ready, the S64 Automatic. The height is perfect, by the way, because if you have any higher uh, uh, grinder, you won't be able to take the cover off properly, as you can see in here. And also, um, you know, and this is a normal kitchen uh, uh, kitchen cupboard. So, I mean, you expect something like this. Look, even with a coffee machine, it's just about. If it was any more than that, uh, it would be a little bit uh, kind of choking. You won't be able to put your uh, mugs and cups, etc. And um, the same thing in here. When I fill this with coffee, which is right here, by the way, I'm not promoting anything. Uh, but when I feel the when I feel the coffee, I, I can't just come and do it like this because it's gonna be too choky. So what I'm actually doing, and I'm gonna get up so you can see the microphone. I, I might sound a little bit too shouty now. I'm gonna take this off and I'm gonna tilt it towards the cavity of the uh, cooker in here and the stove, and then you can actually feel it like that. So that makes sense. You see what I'm doing? Maybe you don't. Um, so kind of like this, and then when I finish, I just put it back and tilt it back. If I was to try and do it like this, it will never work. So just bear in mind, in my opinion, ooh, hello. In my opinion, this is the best, um, the best height for the grinder and I'm sinking. All right, so um, today's episode, we're going to talk about one thing and one thing only because I can talk about this coffee machine the whole day and you're gonna run for the hills. Um, so one of our fantastic commenta uh, commentate commentators, um, viewers, one of our fantastic viewers mentioned that um, um, most people prefer a double shot, even if they drink half of it, uh, because it's more consistent. Consi blah, because it's more consistent and it's easier to um, to produce the coffee. I I'm going to prove to you today that even a single shot, a single water filter, could actually deliver very very good results. Now I will show you how beautiful the chrome is, but because this bloody gimbal doesn't let me do it, if I do that, look what happened. It loses me and it goes crazy. So <laughs> I'm a prisoner of my gimbal, but you get to see me moving with the camera, so it's worth it. Um, I'm going to use uh, the ECM um, kind of, uh, whatever it's called, stamping station. Uh, that sounds like NASA. But, event, but essentially, this is a fantastic thing. I showed it to you before. You'll have the link below if you buy it, if you need it. Um, so when you put the portafilter, and any portafilter would fit, 
uh, because it's it's suitable for different sizes you could actually tamper it properly it's fantastic otherwise i don't know if you've seen it in coffee shops they have a little rubber in here they put it like this and then i don't know this is so much nicer and it's higher and it's stronger so that's that now we're not going to use the double today just a single and you'll see the quality of the um of the coffee now I started this from scratch at 6 p.m. This is my first coffee for the day, guys. Um, just to show you, without any trickery, without any warming it up before, that you can still create a very, very good espresso. Now, any um, coffee machine, any coffee machine from the ACM, Rocket, La Marzocco, whatever you want, needs to be warmed up for a certain amount of time. Not just the first 20 minutes that it takes it to warm up, but also to run two or three rounds of espresso before you can actually get good coffee. Why? I don't know. I, I couldn't find the answer. It's just a fact of life. Sun sets up the rise in the east, it's the same thing. So um, essentially, we're going to go through two or three with a glass shot. You'll see exactly how watery it is, and then you'll see how it starts to uh, move on to more syrupy and muddy and chocolatey. Uh, you, I mean, I'll enjoy the smells, you won't, uh, but um, I'm sorry but um, you'll see the quality changes and I'll prove it to you by the crema, by the look and I'll taste it for you, I know, I have to, I have to do my duties and tell you exactly how it is now. If this is me before coffee, <laughs> imagine how what's gonna happen when I get the coffee, it's gonna be mayhem, I hope you're ready. So guys, I'm going to move now to put the camera right here uh, on top of everything so you can see it properly and uh, I can't wait to share, to share it with you. We're going to do it really quickly because I speak too much. Um, we're going to talk about the grinder in a different coffee some other time. We're also going to talk about the, uh, the water tank, which is not actually sealed for the viewers from uh, the more exotic parts in the, on, on the globe with heat and all sorts of creepy crawly, etc., and ants, cockroaches, whatever. Uh, we'll talk about that too, um, but today it's just the five shots. I suppose uh, you're already exhausted just listening to the introduction. We're going to do it super quickly. Guys, I hope you're ready. Single shot, here we go. So, guys, here we are. It took me another 45 minutes to set it up. Fortunately, the machine is still up. Now, everything is ready. I haven't done anything yet. It's 20 to 7 p.m. dark outside, but we're not stopping this. We're going to do the five shots of espresso so you can see really how it looks like and enjoy it. So here we go. I hope you're ready. We're leaving the double, um, the double shot away. Um, we don't need it, so we're going to move it away. I'm going to stand with a certain angle in here so you can see, so you can see what I'm doing. Single port, of, uh, port filter into the machine. Here we go. All right. Leveler, first one. Tamper, second. Give it a good squeeze. Here we go. Now we want to drain a bit of water so the pot, so the uh, group head can release some of the heat in here, so the water are more consistent. Of course, I forgot to clean the uh, the, <laughs> the coffee shot. So here it is now, and the water has run out. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Surprises everywhere. Morning coffee when it's dark outside. Shot number one, guys. I hope you're ready. Here we go. Look at the coffee. It's not exactly. Um, it's it's starting quite dark. So we actually, when you look at it, you will see that the coffee is a little bit uh, more liquidy, more watery, and darker. Now we don't like that because this, the taste has not yet developed. But this is the first step. This is the first shot. Okay, that's one. Okay, so as you can see here from the coffee, it actually hasn't been developed uh, properly. It's still kind of watery, liquidy, the crema is not that great, and also it's pretty dark. A good coffee would be a little bit more chocolatey and uh, brown, dark brown in co color. Um, let's uh, go ahead with the second shot, but just beforehand, so you can see what happened is I just took off the uh, the porta filter and the coffee is still stuck to <laughs> to the to, to the group head um this is probably why people say it's not exactly easy or consistent all i do is i just scrap it a little bit look at that it's right here and that's okay it's the first round let's go let's go ahead with the second round okay so um what i what i just did was i empty this to the uh, coffee disposal i washed it in boiling water just to really move everything and to make sure it's clean i'm drying this 
clean the uh, thing as well. Now, remember that there is a residue of coffee in here, so you wanna wash that as well, and be ready for the next one. Now remember, we've done just one, now we're on the way to do the second. Here we go. Now we still don't expect the, um, the coffee to be great, but this is just a process to ensure that we get the group head and the porta filter and the coffee and everything warmed up, expanding and progressing. Now, as you can see, actually, it's because the machine was, uh, was working for the last couple of hours. You see now that the coffee looks sublime and this is the second shot. I wanted to show you five different rounds, but actually, if you're just considering this second round, see how beautiful it progresses. Remember, we need 25 to, four, to 35 seconds for one ounce or 30 milliliters of coffee. This is the espresso singolo, single espresso. And if I'm looking carefully, it's just now reaching it exactly on 35 seconds. And look at the crema. And guys, this is the second round. This is incredible. I thought it's gonna be at least third round. Look at the crema. Look at the crema. I mean, it's, it's beautifully done. I mean, look at the colors. And this is just the second round. I'm gonna try. Mm. It's a little bit bitter and sour. So, I suppose we haven't uh, tuned it just right, although it, the consistency, I mean, the, um, the quality of the crema and the syrup of the coffee is much, much better. You can see it's a little bit more thick. Okay, third go. Um, by the way, let's release the porta filter. Look at it. No marks, no cracks. I'll put this so it won't drain all over. Drip. Um, look how beautiful it is. It's fantastic. It looks like a cushion. And this is uh, 11 to 12 grams of coffee. Beautifully done. Beautifully done. Okay, let's drain this and start it again. Third time. Okay, third round. And here we go. Once again, I'm cleaning this so it's nice and lovely. People, some people using brushes. I guess because I'm doing it at home and I have more time and it's in another second. If you do it in a in a shop, you may want to um, to do it with. Um, now with a brush. By the way, I'm sorry the machine is not the cleanest. I'm sure you've noticed that you have it on 4K on a big screen. Um, it's just because, you know, you use the machine, you use, you use, you use. It looks, uh, it looks used. What do you know? All right, third round. Once again. Excellent. Now, you're probably wondering, guys, what I'm doing. So this is a single shot, and uh, it's about 11 to 12 grams of coffee. I like to add another gram just to get some more out of it. And here we go, the third round. This time, actually, it could be as good for a cappuccino. So what I want to do is um, being lazy and skip the five rounds of uh, espresso because I'm convinced that it's actually working quite well. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to actually put this one in. Um, uh, by the way, let's release some of the heat in here. Look how hot this is. I can't even put my hand under the, uh, the, the, the steam just to show you how hot this is. I can just empty it here to save myself going back and forth to the sink. I'll give this a little clean. What I, what I achieved by that is just ensuring that the mug itself now is warm enough for the coffee. Now, I'm taking this for Now I'm taking this for the milk. Filling some milk in here. Remember that we need to uh, empty the content of the, the residue of the water from the bar. There you go. Sorry, but guys, I'm sounding a little bit less uh, excited. I haven't had any coffee since the morning. This is my first coffee of the day and I'm about to faint, so forgive me. Look, we're getting started. Third round. One, two, three, four. Boom. Look at the quality. Can you see the quality? I hope you can because it's the most beautiful. It's not black. Guys, coffee is not black. It's dark brown and it looks fantastic. It looks beautiful. Now I'm going to, this, at the same time, I'm going to do the milk as well. Just put it in the center and that's it. You're ready to go. I'm not sure if you can see it. You can see, hopefully you can see the rip, uh, the kind of, the ripples that I'm creating. You put it right at the edge of the milk to get that kind of hissing sound. 34 seconds, th actually 39 seconds, you're right. And uh, I can put it in, I'm, I'm starting to feel that the, the milk is a bit too hot. I release it, and you know what? There are all sorts of rules. You need to put it in, you need to put it out, you need to take it to the edge, you need to put it inside. You know what, guys? I don't know, maybe I'm different than you, but I say, 
screw this. <laughs> Just put it in the milk. Let the milk warm to the temperature that your body, that your hand can feel that it's too hot and that's all you need to do. Oh, you can't see what I'm doing to the milk. So basically, let's see if I can move the camera just a tiny bit more. Look at that. And now you can see what I'm doing to the milk. So I'm just swirling the milk, um, getting rid of all the bubbles. Guys, have you ever seen anything so beautiful? Look, it's not black. And that's the creme on top. This is what you want your coffee to look like. Guys, this is not a double, this is a single shot. And that's what I'm trying to emphasize here. It doesn't need to be double to be consistent. Now, I'm going to do my, la my cappuccino out now. Could it be done? Could it be done? Could it be done? When you need coffee so much, you don't care about the out as much, but what do you think? Could that pass? I think it could. Now, if we're taking away the portal filter again, we're talking about consistency. Look at it. No cracks, no holes, no water sips. Ouch! It just dropped on my hand. Uh, <laughs> dripped. Um, yes. You see what I'm? You see what I mean? Perfect coffee. Perfect uh, capsule. Not capsule. Um, consistency. This is what it looks like. A brownie. You want to give it a bite. And the beautiful thing about coffee is that it's so oily. It's really boiling. What am I doing? You see, it's, it's a beautiful oil. It's such a nice thing that you can see the coffee, you feel it. It's not in a capsule. I love it. I really love it. That's the, that's, that's the oil and these are the drips. Uh, guys, this is my uh, cappuccino. If I'm not going to drink it now, I'm going to die of lack of energy. Um, Guys, if you don't have one, this is the most useful thing you can ever have, the, um, the, the measuring cup, because it gives you the, char the, it gives you the, the differences between the espresso, uh, sing uh, ristretto, espresso, singolo, and then ristretto and espresso, doppio, and the exact ounces for Americans, our lovely cousins, and also for uh, the uh, milliliters for Europeans. But this is my, la my cappuccino, not latte, cappuccino. It looks lovely. Uh, it looks like a... <laughs> Unshapen something, I don't know what it is. Oh my good god. Oh guys, this is definition of heaven. Alright, let it let's attach you from um, the thingy and let's give you a final goodbye. Oh, I can't stop drinking this. Alright, where are you? There you are. So guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it's been a bit of a mayhem here with uh, with all the lights and everything. What you see here is just the leftovers. There were there was another microphone in here and another microphone in here that I've had enough carrying, so taking this out. <laughs> guys, the most important thing that I wanted to convey to you is this uh, journey with me on this channel, not just through the coffee, through the cars, through the watches, through everything else. It's such a privilege for me that you can enjoy. Thank you for bearing with me and listen, give yourself a tap on the shoulder. You are the, one of the first to join and watch and enjoy it uh, across the world. Um, now for the lovely lady from, I think it was a lady actually, I don't know why, uh, from uh, Southeast Asia talking about the uh, water uh, filter. We're going to talk about it in the next episode. I'm going to open it to you so you can see exactly how it looks from the inside. Also, we're going to talk about the Automatic S64, the grinder itself, and what we would expect from different coffees and different setup. Uh, but until then, and also, by the way, we're going to weigh the the, 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 the group, the porter filter. We're going to weigh the, the amount of coffee coming out, so you know exactly what's happening. But for now, in 7 p.m., I started at 3 p.m. This is insane. Don't forget, subscribe, like, share, spread the word. I want to see you and your loved ones and your friends and anyone you care about to come and subscribe and enjoy this wonderful journey of ours together. Take care.